Okay, good afternoon everybody and welcome to Wembley Stadium for this unveiling of our new England senior men's head coach, Thomas Tuchel, who is joined here by FA CEO Mark Bullingham. We'll shortly start with some opening remarks before we open up to a Q&A from the floor. But before we do that, just a few housekeeping rules. We're going to keep it to two questions per person maximum, please, uh, and also use the microphone available and state the name and organisation you work for before you ask your questions. And at the end, we'll have a short section embargoed until 10.30 p.m. this evening. So I'd like to hand over to Mark Bullingham. Great. Thanks, Andy. This is a really exciting day for the English game. We've, ex we've appointed one of the very best coaches in the world and one of the very best young English coaches as his number two. Our aim is always to win a major tournament. And we believe Thomas gives us the best possible chance to do that at the next Men's World Cup. We had a clear recruitment plan in place before the Euros, and John McDermott and the team developed our ideal profile for an international coach and a short list if we needed it. After Gareth resigned, we executed that plan. We met and evaluated potential candidates. Thomas was absolutely outstanding, providing a really clear vision for the role and how he would work with our players to get the best out of them and to give us the best chance in the World Cup. We were delighted to sign contracts with Thomas last Tuesday, but wanted to wait for the international window to be over before we announced. We're also delighted that Ant is joining us as one of the most exciting young English coaches around. Before I pass to Thomas, I'd like to thank Lee Carsley for stepping into the role for six matches. He's handled himself really well, and I'm sure we'll continue to do so. Lee will manage the team for the November international window and then return to lead the under-21s, trying to defend their European Championship title. I would also like to thank Gareth and Steve. The fact that we had such a high level of interest in this role is testament to the foundations they laid over their eight years with us. Thomas, would you like to say a few words? Of course. Thank you, Mark. And hello to everybody. I'm, of course, obviously very excited and honoured to be here today as a new head coach of England. I just um, had the chance to read a quote from Pelé in the, in the building in Wembley, who said that Wembley is the heart, the capital, and the cathedral of football. And I think he was absolutely right. So I want to take uh, the opportunity to thank uh, the FA, especially Mark and John, for their trust. And I'm very excited to start this journey in uh, January with, uh, with you, with the staff at St. George's Park and at Wembley, and of course with a very special and exciting group of players to make our dream come true in America. Well, Thomas. Hi. Congratulations. It's Rob Dawson <laughs> from you. Sky Sports. Nice to see you. Look, you've had some huge jobs in football already. Yeah. Is this your biggest challenge? And with that in mind, would it be your biggest achievement if you led England to a, a major title? I understood very quickly that it's a big job. Uh, I think it's always the job you're in is the biggest job that you don't get. And, and it does not make a lot of sense to compare. But um, it feels big and it feels, like I said, uh, like a privilege. Um, it is very new because I come from, from club football. So the rhythm, the, um, the responsibility, the role is a new role, which is also very exciting. I was uh, very open for that and, and liked the idea of it. Uh, once Mark and, and John made uh, clear to me that uh, this job is about football, I, um, uh, we never lost the momentum. And once I made a, a time frame up in my mind, from January to, to the World Cup, I, I felt already excited and that it, it, it suited my, my, my passion and, and uh, my, my strive to, to, to push this group of players and, and to be part of this, this federation with such a, a strong record in the last tournaments to, to push it uh, over the line and, and to try to put a second star on the shirt. Good luck. Um, Mark, your statement was... <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that the way I said it. <laughs> it was a little bit flippant, that wasn't it? I beg your pardon. Yeah. <laughs> um.